Why don't I just leave? Where's the option? In any horror game, at any moment, you should have the option to just leave, and then you should get something that comes across the screen that says, Smart Ending. Left the fucking house. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Crow, and welcome to Let's Play Emily Wants to Play. I played two horror games before this, um, and they didn't live up to any sort of hype. I, Alicia recommended them to me, and I was disappointed sorely. They were not very good. They were very, very, they, they were bad. So I'm playing this game. Found it on Steam for $5, um, which, you know, isn't bad. A little price to pay, as long as the game's decent. And, you know, actually has some decent visuals and stuff, and isn't just a bunch of loud noises in your ear. And that's literally all the games I played Hello. were. Your pizza's here. Ooh, voice acting. Five dollars worth of voice acting, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Okay. We're, we're just gonna go all out, are we? We're not even gonna... Okay, so I don't know... Ooh, you can actually interact with objects and stuff. That's cool. You could... You could... Zoom? Oh, you can zoom? Interact. You could. Oh, you can shine the flashlight on if you have one. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, so. Um, you know, voice acting, pretty decent visuals here. Found it on Steam for five dollars. Uh, interesting how we're just gonna get right into the action. The game isn't even gonna let me warm up. They're just gonna be like, you know what? You deserve this. You haven't been getting any good horror games in these past couple of hours, so let's give you a good one. This clown was like on the. He was like on the intro screen or whatever. I guess I can't actually interact with him. Can I pull drawers and stuff? I'm not entirely sure what the uh, limit of my interactivity is. Okay. Oh, that there's that dummy there. That was awesome. Oh, great. The clown isn't there anymore. Fantabulous. Oh, I'm not okay with that. I don't like that at all. Let's play at midnight. Let's go fuck yourself. I don't like that at all. This is already much more frightening than the other games I tried to play tonight. Yeah, this is one of those, like, I kind of want to look over my shoulder kind of games. Alright. Let's keep going. Get a new door. Pick up Emily's meds. Oh, well, Emily's off her fucking rocker then, huh? What do you have to say to me? Well, there's a knife there. I'm assuming at some point you're going to disappear and that knife's going to go with you. So that's a thing that will probably happen. I look forward to it. <laughs> and what did I just say? I literally just said that. I couldn't have been any more honest about what just happened. That's a... That's a fuck no. That's exactly what that is. That is a fuck no. No, 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 no. You do not have girls fucking... <laughs> hey. How are you doing there? Do I have to... Pro okay, no. Alright, then. Glad you made that decision for me. Because I... You know, why don't I just leave? Where's the option? In any horror game, at any moment, you should have the option to just leave. And then you should get something that comes across the screen that says, Smart Ending left the fucking house like seriously why would you stay in these places oh well i mean god forbid i don't i you know they don't get their pizza my psychiatrist says i should start recording a log to help with my depression great no it's all about emily i can't tell him anything about that but i'll record myself anyway maybe it'll help they will never take my friends away from me what's the back say please no hmm Blue screen of death. Do I have to find these throughout the entire house? My psychiatrist says I should start recording a log to help with my yeah, depression. Yeah, it's only gonna have he the one. No, it's all about Emily. I can't tell him anything about that. But Great. I'll record myself anyway. Maybe it'll help. I thought maybe that would be a thing. I guess not. All right, so I guess I have to go into one of the fuck no rooms. Oh, actually, there's a few rooms here I still have yet to explore. Oh. 
What does that signify? Yeah, it's midnight. Oh, was that here before? They cannot kill us, they cannot kill us. Apparently, they cannot kill them. Oh, wonderful. Oh, come on. Not cool, man. I don't like this. I think I was supposed to get a flashlight at some point. I've yet to get any said flashlight. Oh, fuck! Jesus. What are you doing here? Do you actually, like... Are these, like, persistent threats and then they only move when the lights are off or something? Or is that just, like, place there to scare the shit out of me? Regardless of it, I'm definitely terrified. Oh! Fuck no! No, no, no! Oh, hell no. You move when I'm not looking at you. You fucking freak of nature. Is this something I'm gonna have to deal with? Like, seriously, am I really gonna have to deal with these things following me? Because if so, I'm not a- oh. What are you doing now? Your, your, your hands are governing your eyes. I don't like you. I don't- I don't even- I don't even, like, begin to like you. I'm just pointing that out now. What do I do about you? Because if you- I have a feeling if you make it to me, you're gonna kill me. What was that? What was that? What was, uh, of the, the that? I hear something opening and closing around me. What was that? Don't look at her. Don't look at who? Oh, wait, is that a flashlight? Oh. That, that makes things a little bit better. What is this, another audio log? You bitch. No one will help us. No one can help us. This house had a basement in it. We made uh. a place for Emily down there. My husband hid the entrance so that no one could ever find it. I can see your shadow moving when I look away from you. You're fucking weird. Get away. The whole time I'm concerned because I feel like I'm going to back up into another fucking creature. Stay away! I don't like you. I don't like this persistent threat at all. By far my least favorite persistent threat 2016. Granted the year just started, but whatever. I need to, I need to. Is that you? I need to make headway. I need to get the f Oh, fuck! What the hell, man? I'm so glad no one else is in this house sometimes. Yeah, thank you, game. I would like to pay attention to the rest of you, but I'm too... Oh, this is where that girl was standing. Oh, fuck me. I'm too busy trying to retreat from this. Oh, shit! What the fuck, man? Okay, so... Here's the conclusion I've reached. Oh, you're going to start me off with that going off? I don't want to do that. Because what I was just getting ready to say was... I believe you have free reign over the house until it hits midnight. And then that's when these fucking things get active. And if that's... If that's... A, if I'm correct in that assumption... Then the little girl's already after me. And... Ah. Uh, oh, fuck. That shit again. Where's the fucking flashlight? Oh, I already had it. Okay, what happens if I just go down this hole? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! What the fuck am I supposed to do about that? Good God! Holy testicle Tuesdays. Well, I guess I'm not supposed to go in that room. Holy shit. Jeez, this game... It's getting to me to the point where I really don't want to play it right now. Like, I don't want to play this game right now. I really don't want to play this right now. God. Yeah. Da, da, da. Go fuck yourself.
Okay, I'm assuming this door creeping open right here is a sign. This is where I'm supposed to go, right? Into this room. But the problem is, I think they want to kill me. I don't know what that means, that thing that, that you just showed me there. The problem is, the little girl. I just want to play. No. Ah, uh, no thank you. The couple was found lifeless in their living room as neighbors were jogging by. The front door was wide open and the bodies could be easily seen from the street. There were no signs of forced entry, and the police have ruled out burglary as yeah. a Neither body had any injuries and the cause of death did not be Oh great, I heard you. Oh, there you are. As long as I'm looking at you, you can't do anything though. The police have yet to find any leads. The house has been boarded up while the investigation continues. If you guys caught any of that shit that they was just talking about, then congratulations. Oh fuck, where'd you go? 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 Oh fuck, oh there you are. Me. No, thank you. I'm not interested in playing with you. Oh great. Totally want to go into this room that has l no light in it. And they fuck with you and they turn lights on and off and they fucking... Oh, great. She's giggling. Oh, there you are. God, why do you appear like... And you do it when I'm having my back against a wall so there's literally no space between us. You're like overly attached girlfriend or some shit. Look, babe, I need my space. AKA, go fuck yourself. Oh, this leads back into the kitchen. Shit. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? I'm like f afraid of where to walk. And I'm like kind of walking with my back towards stuff. Because I feel like... She's just going to teleport behind me at any fucking moment. But it's also causing issues. Because if I walk with my back towards stuff... Then she can kind of just teleport right behind me. So what's the purpose of this game? Like, seriously, am I just supposed to survive until a certain time? Because... Because the time... Ticked. Like, the midnight thing or whatever. And if I'm supposed to just survive till a certain amount of time... No, you fucking don't. No, you fucking don't. What if I just sit here and stare at you the whole time? I don't think the game's actually going to allow me to do that. Because if my theory is correct, then eventually the other dummies are going to become active as well. And they are going to kill me through different methods other than just this. Oh my god, you're so weird. You're so creepy. Let me out. What haven't I looked at? I mean, this game is very, like, early build, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, I suppose it's possible that maybe there is no, like, actual ending to this game right now. And it's currently just this. Well, that knife is there again. You fucking bitch. I'm not cool with this. Because this room... Doesn't seem to hold anything. And that room over there is the bedroom. But the bedroom doesn't seem to have any importance. Hmm? What was that noise? I don't like it. Great. Glad that you're coming up behind me and making spooky noises. Totally okay with that. Uh, go fuck yourself. How about that? Alright, so this is the first bedroom. You bitch! You opened the door without my permission? I don't like you. Oh, God, you're so weird. You, just the way you move is so weird. Stay away from me. Ah! Go away, way. I feel like I'm like seriously stuck. Like there's nothing I can do. 
she keeps following me around. And if she can't get to me, she teleports to me. And she says she just wants to play, but she's full of shit. She wants to do more than that. She's interested in blood. She wants blood. And I don't have any blood to give her. Well, I, I do have blood to give her, but it's not for her. She don't get to have none of it. She can go ride a one-horse open sleigh to hell. Get the fuck out of my property. This is what happens when I get truly terrified and frightened. I start saying random shit that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But what the hell do you do when you have this little girl doll following you? There's knives all over this place. Fucking pick up a knife and shank a bitch. Seriously. And I don't see like... Oh. Oh, Christ. Does that mean the next dummy is active? Ah, crap. I think my original assumption was right. And that these motherfuckers are going to get more active as time passes. Ah, Jesus balls. I don't like it. I don't like it. So maybe there is a way to win. Maybe you just have to constantly avoid these fucking monsters. <laughs> oh, oh, great. Fucking Bozo the Clown is here now. Wait, do you Oh, shit! What the fuck did I do wrong? I just like I, I peered out him out of his vision for like half a second. I took him out of my peripherals for half a second just to see if maybe like he had the same mechanic as the girl and he instantly jump scared me. Holy Christ. So it's like they get harder. And the way he works is definitely different than the way the girl works. Alright. I can't do anymore. I can't. I'm sweating. I'm like, whew. I can't do anymore. Maybe in the future, but not right now. I'm like, I'm like super paranoid. Like that, I'm so frightened by this game. It's paranoying me. Ah, paranoying me? Does that even, that doesn't even make sense. Okay. <laughs> Just gotta <laughs> calm down and relax. This is good. Like as far as horror standards go, it's good. And the, like the concept is simple-ish, but not bad. I mean, it's kind of like, think of Five Nights at Freddy's, where the concept was very simple, but it wasn't bad. And it doesn't seem as detailed or as involved or as, like, story-driven as, like, Five Nights at Freddy's game is. But, like, but, you know, as far as the gameplay goes, you know, just being very aware of very minor things. But at all times, man, I'm sweating. Like, seriously, I need to go change my shirt. Like, that's how bad it is. But anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. It's been a, it's been a while since I've played a horror game this good, so... Definitely worth checking out for five dollars if you guys have that time. Um, it's a good game. I can say definitely this game has enough thought put into it where I would give it the crow seal of approval. So yeah, guys, make sure if you enjoyed the video to give me a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Don't tell me to play this game again because if you do, I'm going to be so pissed. I don't want to play this game anymore. Subscribe to my channel if you feel the need to do so, guys. And until next time, take it easy.